Hey everyone, it's Sam here. I'm in Joe White Guitar Workshops where I'm very lucky to be able to play some of Joe's own collection that he's built for himself. Um, Joe is an amazing guitar maker. He's sorted me out with guitars for a long time now, known him for ages, and he's never ever let me down. So I'm just going to run through some of these features of the guitars, and like I said, unbelievable opportunity because no one gets to even touch these guitars. They're amazing. I'll talk a bit about each one. This is going to be the first guitar, and uh, we'll see how we get on. Okay, the first guitar I'm going to play is this 1950s broadcaster Joe built for himself. Amazing, he's aged it all himself as well, looks really, really cool. Um, he puts these lot of pickups in which I think sound awesome, with really honest sounding pickups. I'm going through the Black Star right now and I've got this kind of bit of dirt on there. Got some different pickup kind of sound. I'm going to run through this neck pickup which I think sounds awesome. Nice and twangy, kind of those. I think these lot of pickups are really honest, so you get this awesome kind of just twang. If you make a mistake, everyone will know about it, but if you don't make a mistake, it's even better because everyone will know about that as well. Um, when you go right to the other end, you've got the other lot in here. Really clear, like awesome, kind of twangy sound. Great for that. <laughs> Some really cool stuff, so they'll just like jump out and they really bite. Um, gonna have a quick noodle over a backing track in a minute. But all this stuff... Sounds awesome. So let's see how it sounds in context over a backing track. Alright, well Joe's take on a classic for this one, you can obviously see it's a lovely Stratocaster made by Joe for himself and aged by Joe as well, looks awesome, looks like someone just dropped it down the stairs several times but it still works amazingly like brand new. Um, Joe really squeezes out these the goodness of these Lolo pickups, now there's an amazing feature with this, if I'm just playing normal stuff, that lovely Straty sound... <laughs> Cool, like that really nice sort of touch responsive kind of thing going on. Um, Joe's added this really cool feature where you can boost the mid just by adjusting this one little control. So you've got... Gives it way more of a beefy sound. Really, really useful for just like hitting really cool chords. you just want to give it a bit of a boo for some rockier stuff but then still have access really quickly to that it's lovely chords
and then everything in between, so you can have it sort of halfway. to play really responsive uh, we'll see how it sounds over a backing track got an interesting one for you now. It's a Gibson Modern, um, kind of rare and unusual. I'm finding it really fun to play. It's really light, like really, really streamlined. Um, you will probably notice the similarities between this and like a Flying V and an Explorer. Um, was sort of conceived at the same kind of time, but didn't sell very well, so it sort of discontinued, but Joe has gone ahead and made himself one, and it's actually amazing. Um, could see it like really lending itself well to the whole rock thing. Obviously, you can still feel that like Gibson. <laughs> make a cup of tea and come back later and it still would just be amazing um, and obviously it has those similarities so you can still get away with all this like the classic <laughs> fun like amazing just like gives you loads of beans when you're playing it um so we're gonna see how it sounds over a backing jack and i'll play some lead stuff so we get it in context and it'll you know again just this is gonna be awesome Okay, here's one, um, built from the ground up by Joe, this one. If you look at the headstock, you see his little logo there, which means it's going to be really special to play. It's really fun, it's just like, I wouldn't take it to anyone and say, can you change this? It's got everything in it already that I really want. Really responsive pickups, it's really responsive controls, the notorious mother of toilet seat binding, um, really nice neck, just really sort of everything sorted, everything's there. So like, really nice singing. <laughs> Really nice kind of sound like the neck pick up, and then in the bridge as well, just like with this really nice bite. With it. <laughs> 
It's really cool that you can sort of squeeze out all this different stuff that you want. Then you've got the in-betweeny kind of setting. Really cool, like loads of sustain, just really fun to play. Um, so we'll see how this one sounds over back and track as well. We'll try and find something a little bit different to make the most of it. Right, this is Rusty. Some of you may be familiar with Rusty if you're following Jay White Guitar Workshops on Facebook, and if you're not, I suggest you familiarise yourself anyway, because this is amazing. Um, leather bound, and you've got a very special bit of leather here. I think Joe's currently uh, has stolen his wife's handbag. I may have used it for a guitar, but you know we'll keep that kind of secret. Um, it's just amazing to play. Again, like it just looks crazy. It's amazingly responsive. You've got a lot of pickups in it, like lots of Joe's guitars, which are just amazing. Um, and it just has so much like. of character and then you can get extra twang in the middle pickup now. Really kind of bitey awesome. I mean they've got a little bit of dirt on the amp but not that much. It's just really biting through. And you've got tons of it if you go onto that bridge pickup. Amazing fun to play, so we'll see how it sounds over a backing track. Thank you. 
rare and mythical beast has entered the workshop. This is a New Yorker by De Angelico. Um, made in 53, like incredibly you know, unlikely to see it um, elsewhere really. Joe decided to make himself one and it's amazing. You can tell it's sort of half guitar, half cello, just from the ear. It was an incredible kind of amazing sound. <laughs> to play especially like compared to some other guitars you know, from that era these days just like really hard and chunky to play Joe's done an amazing job as usual um, just really fun really lovely let's give it a go on a backing track <laughs> 